Finally, I've gotten my delivery. Today I'm gonna be upgrading my SSD and my RAM sticks and my digital storm PC. I can't wait to show you guys, man. Oh, I'm so excited. But anyways, I have the digital storm links three. It does not matter which model you have because they all feature the same motherboard and SSD layout. So if you're looking to upgrade, I hope this video can show you guys how. Without any further ado, I'm gonna jump right on in. First off, what you're gonna have to do is download Macrium Reflect. And what that is going to do is make it possible so you can clone your current SSD to your hard drive or even to your new SSD if you plan on keeping your old SSD. What I personally did was clone my old SSD to my hard drive and then once I swapped out my old SSD to my new SSD, I just cloned my hard drive back to my SSD. If that makes sense. <laughs> So in theory, this is my hard drive right here. You just click on it and you click clone this disc and then you select where you wanna clone it to. This is my new SSD and I've already cloned it so I'm not gonna go through that step. But after you do that, you would just click finish and it will clone everything from your current hard drive to your SSD and it'll make everything a lot smoother for you. But without any further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get over to that video and show you guys how to change out your stuff. Okay guys, so first off, we're going to start by putting your PC on its side. It'll make it easier to get your RAM sticks out. Notice how I uh, pushed down two little levers on the left side. They are holding your RAM sticks in place. Once you push them down, you'll be able to take them out. So now it's just a matter of lining up your RAM sticks. There is a little nub that's kind of towards the center of it. You just want to make sure that they line up with your new RAM stick as you put it in. Listen for that click right there. You're going to have to apply a generous amount of force and it's going to be kind of off-putting, especially if this is your first time building a PC or swapping out parts because you don't want to break it. Trust me, I felt that way too. But the clicks are what lets you know that they are in place and also the click is that lever is snapping back into place to hold your new RAM sticks. So now we're standing up our PC. We're going to start by unscrewing the screw to get your SSD out. Notice how on the left side, on the backer end of it, there's a cable that has a little silver clip to it. To get that cable out, you just have to push down on that silver clip and pull out as normal. And then the right side just pulls out as normal as well. There's a good view of that silver clip, like I was saying. And with your new SSD, it's as simple as just plugging it in and letting it rip. Also, you have to apply a generous amount of force to get those in. It's going to be off-putting as well, but trust the process, guys. <laughs> Always check underneath just to make sure everything is fully seated in there. And now on your old SSD, you're going to unscrew four little screws on the bottom of it, and that's how you get your base plate to lock down your new SSD. So here I am just screwing in my new SSD into the base plate to secure it down into my PC. And you screw down your big nut and that's what secures it down. Alright guys, so after we get that new SSD installed, what you're going to have to do is head over here to Computer Management and go ahead and go to Open. And you're going to go to Disk Management and you want to make sure that everything is allocated because when you first put in your new SSD it's not going to be allocated and it's not going to be able to be found so once you allocate it it will be found and that's how you can start using your SSD alright guys thanks for checking out the video I hope this could help you guys change out your SSD and your RAM sticks and the digital storm PC I will leave a link in the description to what I personally upgraded mine to please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment down below and I'll get back to you.